Here's the thing. It's important at times to be private, to censor our own face, to censor other people's faces, or even our car number plate, our house number, etc. Privacy is important. In CapCut, there are a couple quick and easy ways that you can censor things, and I'm gonna be showing you how you can do that. Let's jump in. So I'm in the CapCut desktop app. I'm actually on a Mac, and here are some quick and easy ways. The first way is if we wanna cover up our face, we can go to effects. You're natively gonna be on video effects, so toggle that up and go body effects. And then under clone, we can drag phantom face directly onto our footage. What this does is it has this kind of phantom effect and blur effect. The only problem with this is, as you can see near the end of the clip, that phantom effect fades. So I would need to essentially drag another clip on top of it before that effect fades. Not the best outcome, but that is one way to do it. Another way is to stay in body effects and go mask. And then in mask, you'll see a face mosaic. This works super well because it literally gives us the effect that we want. We can drop that range a little bit. You know, the bigger we increase the range, the more of it it blurs. And we can also drop the size of those little pixels. And this doesn't have that transition effect, so the effect stays the entire time. And here with these lines, you can see that it's identifying our face uh, and, and choosing to put that mosaic over our face. Super, super simple way. In addition, if there are other people in your clip, this effect will still work. Let's go ahead and delete that and move on to the next way. So one of my favorite ways to do it is to actually add a sticker because this kind of increases the versatility of what you can do. Let's say I want to cover up my face with this little cat, <laughs> this cute little cat. What I can do is find a portion in the video where my face is showing. I can drag that cat right over it. And all I'm gonna do is while I'm selected on the sticker of the cat, I go to tracking, I go motion tracking. And what I need to do is in this little yellow box, I need to identify my face. So I'm gonna drag it directly over the cat because my face is under the cat. And then click start. And what that's gonna do is track our face back and forth and automatically have that cat move with our face. So you can see I start off to the left and then I go to the right and that cat stays on the entire time. Very cool way, and again, lots of diff different stickers that you can choose from to kind of cover up whatever you're doing. A little bit more manual, but not as manual as this last one, which kind of applies to if we're not doing a face. Let's say we're doing a number plate and we need to cover that up. So a little bit more manual, but I'm gonna be showing you it's, it's not hard and uh, it's actually pretty simple. Because it's a number plate and it's rectangular, I'm gonna drag the square over and I'm gonna drag that over my whole clip. On my sticker tab, I'm gonna deselect uniform scale. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale the height down a bit to match, and I'm gonna scale the width as well so that we have something that matches our number plate. We don't want this to be over the whole video, we just want it to affect our number plate. Now, in this clip, I've already tested it. The car is moving a bit much for that motion tracking. If we go to tracking, motion tracking isn't gonna work. So what we need to do is manually keyframe, and that may seem daunting, but it's not. So under your position on your sticker, there's a little icon here that says add keyframe. Go ahead and click that somewhere in the middle where you can clearly see your number plate. What I'm gonna do here as well is increase the size of my clip under that little magnifying glass, and that's gonna allow us to see our number plate even more. So we've got this keyframe on our timeline, and it's dropped that. We can see as well this keyframe icon has gone blue. All I'm gonna do on my timeline is hold on shift and move forward a little bit until our number plate is kind of out of uh, the blur and there I can drag that over the number plate as well. Automatically it's added another keyframe here so we don't need to go ahead and click that again. Now let's keep scrubbing or keep using your arrows on your keyboard to see where it goes out. Right there, let's say we just wanna put it down a little bit. It's gonna add that keyframe and then I'm gonna go forward and you can clearly see that there the number plate is showing so I'm gonna drag it up as well and it continue, the video continues to go down so I'm gonna keep dragging it up. Now I'm gonna just scrub back to see if there's any moments where that number plate kind of comes out of our blur or our cover up and you can see I'm just making some little adjustments there. Here, just before here it goes out, so I'm gonna add there, I'm gonna cover it up, and let's scrub back a little bit, and there as well. And right in the beginning, I'm gonna add one, seems like we go out there. So now if I quickly scrub through my video, let's see what happens. You can see that our cover up directly stays over that number plate. And what's cool is if you wanted to track your scale as well, if we wanted to be technical, we go to the beginning, we can track that, we can decrease the size. By the end of the video, because the car is closer, we could have increased that size uh, to cover it up. 
And what would have happened? Our cover-up would have changed in size as the subject got closer or further away. Those are four very simple ways to do a sensor in CapCut. I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was informative. Not such a daunting task. And if you did find value, please go ahead and subscribe and see some other editing guides. Cheers, guys.